Want to know how to generate and create Canva template links so you can make money selling Canva digital products? If so, then keep watching. Hey, I'm Lauren Keyes, and if you're new to this channel, I share on all things creating and selling digital products. And if you've been with me for a while, I'm finally back. I've moved into my new house, so you can expect to see more like regular videos from me. Now, although I have already covered this kind of material, like this particular topic in previous videos, I've decided to just do a quick refresher video on it for my new subscribers because it is just a question that I continue to receive over and over again from my viewers, which is how do you create this template link and how do you do it so that your original design doesn't get changed for everybody who purchases your Canva designs? So let's get into the video. Okay, so you want to open your design up in Canva. I'm just going to use an example of some story templates that I've got here. Uh, let me just change the grid view so that it's not so busy. So there we have it. If you're wondering how I actually did that, the bottom right hand corner here, um, it says grid view. And I use this all the time when I'm designing um, my stuff, just so I can make sure that everything is cohesive, matches, looks good together. So that's a handy little trick there. So I'll just use this for now. So if you want to sell Canva templates and you're wondering how do you even share the templates with others, how do you generate this link, you need to pay attention here because this is where a lot of people go wrong and um, they make a big mistake which just causes a lot of chaos for them and their customers. So you want to head up into the top right hand corner where it says share and you want to avoid this whole top area here where it says share this design, collaboration link, copy link, stay away from all of that. This will give people access to your original design and then they'll be able to make changes and edits to that original design, which is just really, really messy because your customers will then end up, um, they'll think they're purchasing this particular design and then what will happen if you use this purple button copy link, what will happen is... Um, people are going to have access to the original design change and then the next person who buys you know that particular template uh, design off you they're going to get the changes that your previous customer has made and so that's not a very nice experience for your customer so please stay away from all of this up here what where you want to go from here is this middle section here where you see the instagram brand template schedule facebook page sometimes the template link button will be sitting there however if it's not sitting there and you can't see it, such as here, what you want to do is head down to where it says more. And then in here, you will find the little button for it. So here it is, template link. This is what you want to be using. So you want to click on this little template link button. And then it's going to generate a template link for you. And so it says template link. Anyone with the link can use this design as a template. Sign in is required, but you will not know who has made copies of the design. So from here, you want to head down to this purple button that says create template link. You want to click on that. It's going to generate you um, a link. So that's the template link there. You want to copy that link. And then you want to paste that link into your PDF file that is going to get uploaded into whether you're selling on Etsy, you're going to go um, upload that PDF into your Etsy listing. If you're selling on Shopify or your own website, that is the actual file that you're going to be uploading. So I'll just quickly show you an example here. And guys, if you are getting value from this video, hit that like button and subscribe. So this is just a PDF file. These are my PDF files that I've made. So you just want to make sure that you have a little bit of text that you can add the link for that template design to. So I've just got boss ambition stories. That's just the name of my design. So I just highlight that text. And then um, up here, you've got the little link symbol. You want to click on that. And then you just want to paste in that template link that we just copied and then you want to hit done and then see how that bit of text here is now underlined that means that it's hyperlinked it's actually got the link to the template in it so um, from here you just download your PDF file so it's download and you always want to keep it in PDF standard because the links will be available like you can click on the links if you just download this as a png or a jpeg um, the your customers will not be able to click any links so it's always 
PDF standard. And then from there, you will upload that PDF file into your Shopify website, your Etsy store listing, um, or whatever you're using um, for your website. Okay, so I wanna just quickly show you what it's going to look like on your customer's end. So let's just download this PDF file, download PDF standard. Okay, so your customer is going to, uh, once they make a purchase with you, they're going to download a PDF file and it is going to uh, bring them to this and then they are going to click on the link. And then once they click on that link, it is going to open up a page that says a template created by your name was shared with you, start designing now. And your customers are going to click uh, use template for new design um, at the bottom here. So when it shows up in your customer's browser, this uh, use template for new design should be highlighted in purple. Um, just ignore this top area here where it says edit template. I'm pretty sure that's only showing up because I've opened the copy of the design um, in my own Canva account. So it's asking me because I'm the owner if I want to edit it. That's the only reason why I think that's there. Um, otherwise, yeah, your customer, it should only have this option at the bottom where it says use template for new design and that should be in purple. They're gonna click on that and then it's going to, let me just see what happens here. Yeah, it's still creating a copy within my own account, which is perfect. So that's what it's going to come up with um, in your customer's Canva account as well. It should say copy of the name of your Canva design. And then they are free to go and make edits now, guys, before I go, I quickly want to share this important tip with you as well. This is really important if you plan to sell Canva templates. So anytime you are using the Canva elements, so to the top um, left hand corner, it says elements. Anytime you're using images, uh, graphics, photos, if you're selling Canva templates, it is highly recommended that you are only using free elements free graphics and I will show you what I mean so for example you can see this little um, photo here it has a pro symbol do not use anything with this little symbol in your templates uh, you want to only use free elements and free elements will not have that little symbol so as you can see these smiley face uh, graphics here they are free these are what these are the elements that you should be using in your Canva templates because what happens is if you go and use um, if you go and use a pro element in your Canva templates, if your customer does not have a Canva pro account, they're not going to be able to um, actually edit those templates. And that can be a really um, not a not a great experience on your customer's end. So I just wanted to qu quickly throw that in before I end this video. If you love this video, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to learn how to create that PDF file to put your Canva template links in, you can watch that in this video here.